Good morning, YouTube family. How are you guys? It is Wednesday morning, and we are about six and a half weeks out. Um, I'm wearing a hat today. What do you guys think about the hat? I just wanted to try it. I'm kind of feeling it, you know, besides like the ear keeps sneaking out of it. But anyways, six and a half weeks out. Um, I'm sitting in traffic right now, going to train a client this morning. So my cardio is going to be a little bit delayed, but that's okay. I don't really mind too much today. Um, I wanted to bring you guys along for the day, just kind of like a sneak peek into my life. And um, maybe just keep this week's video to just one day because I have so many um, accumulated clips and sometimes it makes me feel like the videos are a little messy, but I guess you guys let me know if you don't mind watching all that messy footage or if you would rather me just stick to like one day, one topic, I can definitely do that as well. Um, right now I'm sitting in traffic as you can see by the red glow on my face. Traffic is so terrible if I don't leave my house by like 6 15 a.m. It's like an hour to go anywhere. So sitting in traffic, I have my coffee. I have some water with glutamine and L-citrulline. And um I'm just sipping on those two things while I do everything that I have to do this morning. And then a little bit later, I'm gonna have my breakfast, which I'll show you guys. It has changed a little bit since the last time you saw it. And then uh I'll take you through the day, you know, show you a little bit of work, show you a little bit of workout, show you a little bit of food. It's going to be a good time. Um, I'm pretty low energy right now because it is so early in the morning, but I feel really good. I got plenty of sleep and um, just feeling, feeling rested, feeling good. My legs have been feeling really good ever since the last time that they freaked out on me. They really haven't done that again. So I'm really, really thankful for that uh, because I could not, like literally I cannot deal with that. So yeah nothing else really to report over here work's been busy i've been busy um i could use a little bit more free time not gonna lie but we're not complaining we're just gonna put our head down and continue to work so with that being said i'm going to get back to driving and listening to music maybe i'll find like a true crime podcast because everybody's on this true crime podcast stuff and I know I'm late to the party, but like it just feels like I'm missing out. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that. And then um, I'll check in with you guys when I eat my very first meal and show you guys what it's all about. My hair is in a ponytail, okay, because it was way too hot to have that hair down. Um, I liked it, but I like the ponytail a little bit more. I am on my way back home. I did some stuff for work. The last time you saw me, it was probably like, it was before 7. So 6.45ish or something. It is now 10 o'clock in the morning. I haven't had breakfast. I haven't had a chance to do my cardio, which is supposed to be fasted. But I'm going to show you what I do when I don't get to do that. Because some days it just doesn't work out like that for my schedule. Um, this morning, I didn't expect it to take me this long. So it's okay. We're going to do the cardio in the afternoon and I am going to eat breakfast now when I get home and I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have a tea with my breakfast. I'm like feeling like an apple. Um, Trader Joe's has this like harvest apple tea that they had like two years ago and I still have some of it and I don't know if tea goes bad, but it still tastes really good. So I'm going to go ahead and have that, have some more water. I am starving, absolutely starving. So I'll show you guys my breakfast and then um, we're going to leave the house, go do some work and then we're going to hit the gym. So I'll show you guys my workout today is a shoulder day and I'm excited because these things need to get a pump. I feel like so soft in the mornings when I wake up or even when I like take my check-in photos or when I'm like just looking at myself early in the morning without a shoulder pump. I'm like, girl, my shoulders are the weakest part of my body. I would say besides my quads, like my quads are not very big either. Um, but I, my shoulders is something that like I really, really need to focus on and I need to grow, especially as a bikini competitor, shoulders are so important and mine are just not where they need to be. My shoulders are stubborn. I don't know why they just do not respond as quickly as other parts of my body. Um, for a while, I didn't even train them to be honest. And it's just one of those things like, but I also didn't train glutes as much and my glutes respond so well to training. So my glutes are actually definitely looking better, but my shoulders, girl, I need some shoulders. So anyways, I train shoulders three times a week. Um, I train them a little bit on Monday. Today is Wednesday and I'll train them again on Friday. I train glutes also three times a week and hamstrings. 
So I trained glutes on Tuesday, I'll train them on Thursday, and then on Saturday as well. So that's pretty much my training split right now. Um, I do lats and shoulders on Monday, so I do get some lat work in. That's the only day that I do lat work because my back is pretty well developed, I would say, for bikini. Um, but what I don't do anymore is any bicep, tricep. I don't do any chest days. Um, I don't really do any quad focus leg days. I do train my calves as well and my abs, So, which is something new for me because I never, ever, ever, ever train abs and I never, ever, ever like to train abs but right now i am training them just because we need a little bit more definition in that area to get on the stage but i woke up this morning a new low weigh-in so right now i'm weighing about 132.5 pounds um i'm not saying that that's a high weight by any means and i know i'm very very lean however for the stage i know i need to get a lot leaner so six and a half weeks out i am a little bit stressed about that number um just because i know more or less where I need to be and I know how far away it is and the time and you know the math ain't mathing but it's okay I'm just going to continue to do what I do I know that gradually the deficit will become greater the energy expenditure will become greater and the um, energy consumption so the calories are going to taper down quite a bit especially in these next few weeks because that's just the name of the game um, competing and stepping on the stage is an extreme sport it is something that you need to think about if you're thinking about competing this is not for everybody this is not healthy this is not balanced and this is something that if you're going to pick it up as a hobby um you know maybe you could be a little bit more relaxed with but for me this is something that i want to do professionally this is something that i want to do um as a career this is something that i want to be the best at because i'm very very competitive and i've fallen in love with this sport um it's bringing me back to the days where i used to dance and like had something to work towards and it's really just making me the happiest that i've ever been so um because of that I am willing to do whatever it takes and that means low calories and high cardio if I need to. Now I will admit it doesn't always have to be that way. Uh, the reason that it is that way for me is because number one, I am a very active person already. So because I walk 15 to 20,000 steps a day on a regular Tuesday, my body does need a little bit more stimulus to be able to um, kind of like shred down because it is used to the high energy output. Um, However, like, I also was an asshole during the off season. Um, and I say that because I, so I had a coach that I was working with. You guys know him. You've seen him in my clips before. And he was doing my kind of like building season diet. And uh, we were trying to build as much as possible in a condensed amount of time. So he put me into a caloric surplus uh, and I, I grew quite a bit. But a lot of that was body fat. So what you have to be careful of is if you put on too much body fat, when you have to diet down, you're going to end up losing some of the muscle mass. So at the end of it, the net outcome is pretty similar to like somebody that stays lean, you know, the entire season because you can build while you're in a deficit. You just have to be smart about what you're eating and make sure that you're prioritizing your protein and your training intensity stays the same. I don't know if I'm making sense, but... Let's say that you gain like 20 pounds during your off season. You're going to have to lose those 20 pounds and then some. So you're going to end up, let's say you gained five pounds of muscle at the end of it. Let's say that you keep two of those pounds, right? Where somebody that stays lean and is in a deficit, but is building, let's say you only build two pounds of muscle, but then you don't have to diet so hard and do so much cardio to get in shape. So anyways, enough of that. That's a lot of science. Um, and I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. I just got home. I got to go run inside. I got to pee and then I'll show you my breakfast. Okay, so this is the tea that I'm talking about, this Harvest Blend tea. It is so good. I don't know. Cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, and apple. I don't know. Delicious. This tea is so good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my breakfast. This is my lunchbox because I packed it with me to take, but I'm going to eat it now. So I have some oatmeal with some protein powder and then I also get some uh chicken and spinach so let me take everything out of here so here it is and don't mind my kitchen it's a disaster zone so here's my chicken spinach and egg whites and then 
here is my oatmeal with like seven grams of peanut butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat that and I'm gonna have a tea and then um, I'll show you guys my second meal when I eat it. Okay, we're out walking. I'm at work and um, I don't know you guys, today's been like a weird day. Kind of emotionally charged, feeling a little bit, um, a little bit out of balance a little bit discouraged, I don't know, a little bit doubtful. Um, I know it's just me, it's just my head, but that's just how I'm feeling. So I just thought I'd let you guys know because these are the moments. This morning I was fine, but this is an emotional roller coaster. I swear to God, one moment you're fine, the next moment you're having a mental breakdown. It's part of prep, you know, your body's fighting you on all levels, mentally, physically, and I think that you just have a harder time regulating your feelings as well so yeah feeling a little weird but gonna try and stay positive listen to a podcast or something and then uh check in with you guys when i eat my next meal but for now we got a couple walks to do so let's get to it so we're driving and i'm eating because i'm really hungry it's 12 30 and this is just some green beans some tilapia and a little bit of yellow mustard and um, some pink Himalayan salt. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll be back for my next meal. Glamorous. All right, you guys, it is now 5.30 and it's time for my second to last meal of the day. I did have another meal and I forgot to show you guys, but it's literally the same thing I'm having now. So you get to see anyways, I have some chicken and rice. Um, this is 90 grams of rice and four ounces of chicken. Earlier it was 135 grams of rice and four ounces of chicken. I also have some pink Himalayan salt that I'm gonna put on here. And I'm going to also put on, I don't even know what I wanna put on it. Do I wanna put anything on it? Yeah. I'm just gonna put on some mustard. I have little packets of mustard in my car. Um, I have some sweet, hot, sweet and spicy mustard in my lunchbox, but I don't feel like eating that one today. So I'm just gonna put the mustard on the chicken and then that's it. Mustard on everything, if you know, you know. After this, I have to um, do some stuff for work and then uh, go to the gym one more time to do my second round of cardio. And then I will be done for the day. Then I gotta go home and prep some food. I'll show you guys what that's about. And then have my last meal. And tomorrow we check in. So. I'm going to continue this into tomorrow because I want to show you guys the check-in. Um, today's been a roller coaster of a day. I just feel so drained emotionally today. It's so stupid. But uh, sometimes it's just the reality of prep. You know, it's just the reality. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take some supplements that I need to take also. And then um, eat this meal and watch some YouTube because I'm sitting in my car. And then I will catch you guys in a little while for the end of the night. But I'll probably show you the cardio and stuff too. So I'll see you guys later.
hairstyle number three for today i don't want to talk about it it's just you know one of those days my mood is obviously a little better than it was a little earlier just got out of the gym for the third time today did my last cardio did my posing i did everything that i needed to do for today to make sure that i checked off all the boxes and now i am on my way to the grocery store it is eight o'clock and i got groceries to buy and i have my last meal to eat tomorrow's check-in day so i gotta make sure that i get plenty of sleep but yeah just wanted to check in with you guys let you know that's what i'm up to and i'll check in for whatever the next shenanigan i get into is but for now we're back in the car and i gotta get to the grocery store good morning you guys it's the next day i forgot all about you last night because i was just so ready to be done and home i stopped in at the grocery store got home and then i had to prep some stuff and um, eat dinner and all that good stuff so i forgot about you but i'm gonna show you that part of my day today um i'm not gonna put it off i'm just gonna show you because it's just so crazy when you get into a routine like when i get home my phone goes away because i just don't have anybody else to answer to and i just want to be home not thinking about anything so i got to make a point to record that for you guys but it is um 6 50 right now i'm headed to the gym to do my check-ins um i have some prime i woke up this morning and i weigh a little more than yesterday but i haven't gone to the bathroom so you know i probably weigh the same thing that i weighed yesterday um i have check-ins today so i'm gonna go get on my suit take my pictures and then i can write my coach my check-in email and get that feedback so that we can see what the changes are going to be for the upcoming weeks we are six weeks out today and that's insane to me um but i'm feeling really good i'm excited about it so just wanted to check in with you guys it's really really early i have an energy drink because i didn't have time to make a coffee i'm still gonna stop and get a coffee though i think because there's something about having a coffee in the morning so um yeah i'm gonna drive to the gym i'll show you guys when we get there take a little video so you guys can see how i'm looking and then um i'll check in with you once i'm doing my cardio